Astronomers say they have discovered a planet that could be home to an atmosphere similar to our own. In fact, they're dubbing this as Super Earth. Take a look at this. This is an artist's rendering of what it might look like. According to the Washington Post, there are 50 new planets discovered. And this one is circling an orange star that's similar and cooler than the sun, the Super Earth is uh, just the right distance from its star to have water. Chad Myers is here because he knows we like to talk everything space. <laughs> and what is it? They, they call it, it, it maybe in the habitable zone, yes. which means it may have water. Do you remember the story about Goldilocks oh, and the boy. three bears? We're, we're, yes. Not too hot, not too cold, just, just right. right. That's where these habitable planets Super could Earth be. Super Earth is just right. It's just right. It's <laughs> in the middle. Now it's big, though. Okay. It's 3.6 times the mass of the Earth. So, and that tells it, and these, these astronomers are saying, hey, this is a rock. This isn't just some gas planet going around. This could be real. And it's 77 degrees. At least that's what they think. I like that. that's the distance. Isn't that perfect? 77 degrees. With a, with a view of the like ocean, the time. and it's only 36 light years away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know it's being called HD 85512B. There you go. Uh, I guess eventually maybe it'll get named something. Um, and yeah, what about what, Bob? What about Bob? Or HD one or Something better. What was I, I was looking down at my notes. 36 light years away. Correct. So that means we, we will never live to see what this may be. It called. also means we can't see it. Yeah. They think it's there. They believe it's there because of this HARPS astronomy, this telescope down in Chile. Yes. How this happens is that they take a look and they shoot the star and they see if the star wobbles. And if the star actually moves a little bit, that's the gravity from the planet going around it. That's where the wobble comes from. That's how they know it's 3.6 times heavier than the Earth because it made that star wobble a little bit. We won't even, be in, won't even try to look at it until the new telescope comes out next year from the observing uh, down there in Chile. They've got La this Silla big Paranal big Observatory in Chile. in Chile. I think we should take a field trip. It's high in the sky, so there's not <laughs> a lot of atmosphere up there to go through it. And you speak Spanish fluently. Wow. I'm going with you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> See you there. Thank you, Mr. Myers. Appreciate sure. it. Love talking space with you.